Hello everyone, Hobbyist here. We are back at it again with another manga review. If you haven't yet already, make sure to hit that subscribe button, as well as to like and share this video. And leave your comments down below, because now we are going to be getting into the final war arc of My Hero Academia. Now, this arc is still currently ongoing, so there are things that are going to be subject to change with when it comes to my thought process on how the story is going and the directions that it might take. But the final war arc inside of My Hero Academia it's literally started on volume 35 and is still currently ongoing. I'm as caught up as I can possibly be with the resources that are currently available to me. I'm at chapter 366. So there's honestly a lot to unpackage when it comes to the final war arc. So the Paranormal Liberation War arc that was a couple of arcs back definitely felt more like a battle and not the true war. That was to come inside of the story. So when it comes to the events inside of the Final War arc, definitely things had a slow build, but it's definitely already building up to several big moments. One of the early beginning things that they have is that they show off All for One's true face. We get to finally see what he looks like. Not the husk burnt face that we've seen up to this point, not a glimpse of his eyes or his upper half that we saw. In Shigaraki's backstory, no, we get a full scan of his face and what the handsome Chad that he actually looks like. It's honestly a pretty cool moment, as we already know that the stakes are elevated and that all for one is literally just beating up the heroes. It honestly brings up the question is, will Endeavor actually die inside of this arc? Will we lose another number one hero? Because we lost All Might. A while back. He's retired now. We lost Stars and Stripes in the Stars and Stripes arc. So the US is down a number one hero. So will Endeavor actually bite the dust as well? Honestly, it's an interesting question. Another thing that they do, and this is probably the second time they've done this, is that they've killed off Bakugo. But the question now becomes, will they permanently kill him off? Because I could see it going one of two ways. They could actually kill him off for good, completing his character arc and further enhancing the stakes of the story beyond what has already been foreshown. I know it would probably upset you Bakugo fans, but I honestly wouldn't see this as a bad narrative choice. Now, of course, if they do bring him back again, I could see that as a benefit too. Maybe Hirokoshi might have some more ideas on ways that he might want to further develop Bakugo's character. Because Bakugo, since the very beginning of the UA beginning saga, all the way until now, has had so much growth, so much development, that it's honestly insane. Right now, when it comes to the current chapter, Edshot is the only hero that is keeping him alive. He's literally sewn himself inside of Bakugo to try to keep him some semblance of alive, even though he's sacrificing himself in the process. The other big thing that's happening inside of this arc, or that has already happened, is that Dobby has just gone absolutely insane with what he's trying to do to Shoto. The Todoroki drama has always been something that's kind of been a main highlight point inside of the whole series. But like, Dobby becomes this walking, burning skeleton who is literally just walking off of pure hatred in order to kill Shoto and to kill Endeavor. It's honestly insane it's a little terrifying considering what shonen normally does but it just it increases the scale and the meaning behind their drama and it increases the tension that already is there that this is literally a walking mass speaking of a walking mass right now as of current chapter shigaraki has developed all for one to the point to where he has now created himself flesh armor, and he's just this giant, massive behemoth. And he just makes work of the big three heroes. Mirio, for probably the first time that we've seen him truly defeated mentally, aside from the dismays that he might have had in the overall arc, in the Rise of the Villains saga. Because we literally see Mirio's smile get broken because even though his quirk allows him to get close to Shigaraki, Shigaraki's development as far as his own personal durability is just so high to the point where 
Mirio really can't do anything to him. No punches are going to affect him. In fact, the cheesiest thing that he does to kind of throw Shigaraki off guard is to show him his uh, peach. So, it's a funny moment because it literally comes out of nowhere. And it makes sense for Mirio's character because Mirio has literally just been a character whose optimism has shined through and has always spread to other people in comparison. Whereas with Deku, it's always been his compassion and his nerdiness when it comes to heroes. But then when Deku finally does return, we know that he is super focused on Shigaraki. Nothing else. There's no smile. There's no super rage like he was back at the Paranormal Liberation War arc. He's just focused. He knows that it's between him and Shigaraki without really speaking a word. And now that I've kind of gotten to the end of what I'm currently updated with, I want your guys' thoughts. Will they actually kill off Bakugo? Will they kill off Endeavor? Endeavor? Will they close Shigaraki's story in compassion or redemption arc of sorts, or will they actually defeat him? Will Shigaraki develop to the point where he no longer needs all for one being in the backseat telling him what to do, and will he become this own independent villain? There's still a lot of open ends inside of this arc, so I'm wondering if they're going to have some sort of epilogue arc to conclude the series. But honestly, I don't see how they're going to keep this story going past this arc. I can kind of see it. This is my only sort of caveat when it comes to the Final War arc right now. Is that it does feel a little bit rushed. That Hirokoshi is kind of getting a little bit tired of the series. I could be wrong. This is just my simple interpretation when it comes to the series right now. And this has definitely been a point for a lot of people where they've kind of fallen off with it, that they have felt that My Hero hasn't been as great as it used to be. And that may or may not be the case. That's all subjective. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on that. But honestly, I'm looking forward to how this final war arc is going to pan out and to see what loose ends they might tie up and wondering if this is the conclusion of My Hero Academia. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.